Hi guys, Fog of Gaming here and welcome to Modern Warfare Season 5. Today we're going to take a look at one of the brand new weapons for Call of Duty. The ISO SMG is a short range beast. It's a 9mm submachine gun with a rapid rate of fire, but can it replace the MP5? For that we will have to check out the stats. First of all, you can unlock this weapon by reaching tier 15 in the Season 5 Battle Pass. Then start grinding in multiplayer or in Warzone to unlock all the attachments because this weapon definitely needs it with a standard magazine capacity of only 20 bullets. You can clearly see the limitations of that magazine in this gameplay file. The magazine size can be improved to 30 bullets or to a 50 round drum magazine. But you have to ask yourself, is that worth it in multiplayer? Because there is a penalty on the ADS time. The ISO has a rate of fire of 860 rounds per minute, which is slightly better than the MP5's rate of fire of 800 rounds per minute. However, it cannot deal as much damage with 36 for headshots, 25 for torso shots and 22 for limb shots. For info, the following numbers are valid for Modern Warfare, so the multiplayer version. So we are dealing with an enemy with 100 health. All of this results in a time to kill of 140 milliseconds for headshots, 209 for torso shots and 279 for limb shots. You will need 3 headshots to kill or 4 torso shots or 5 limb shots and all of this is valid up to 16.5 meters. Beyond that, so from 16.5 meters until 22 meters, you will need 209 milliseconds to kill with 4 headshots, 279 milliseconds to kill with 5 torso shots and 349 milliseconds to kill with 6 limb shots. It doesn't end there, because from 22 meters until 35 meters, you will need 209 milliseconds to kill with the same 4 headshots, so there is no change if you go for the head at this range. You will need 349 milliseconds to kill with 6 torso shots or limb shots, so their values are now the same. At 35 meters you will encounter the ISO's last damage drop off point and from here on out you will need 279 milliseconds to kill with 5 headshots, 419 milliseconds to kill with 7 torso shots and 488 milliseconds to kill with 8 limb shots. At some point you are going to have to reload the ISO. That is going to take you 2.236 seconds which is pretty good because this number is very similar to the reload time of the MP7 with 2.210 seconds. The ADS time of the ISO is slightly worse than the ADS time of the MP7 or the MP5 with 179 milliseconds compared to 176 and 174. When we take the ISO with us to a private server for a bullet pattern test then you can see that the basic bullet pattern initially goes up but about halfway through your magazine you will get the pull to the right. Compensating for this is not hard at all and you can either get a very tight bullet pattern. One of the biggest downsides of the ISO are the iron sights. It seems way too big and there are two parts on the left and the right that cover a lot of your screen. Not to mention all the clutter in the very center of your screen. It does not make your life easy because there is hardly any space anymore to actually show the enemy you're trying to kill. Sure, a seasoned player can easily deal with that, but still, there is way too much going on in the area where it matters, which is the very center of your screen. If you aim down sights directly on the enemy, then you will be fine, but when you're facing multiple opponents, then you will struggle, because you can't really snap onto a guy's head if you can't see him in the first place. I had a great time with the ISO in multiplayer, but it does lack a punch and if you compare this weapon with the MP5, a weapon that we all know, then you will see why that is. As you know, the MP5 has a faster ADS time, a slower rate of fire and a slower reload time of 2.798 seconds versus 2.236 seconds for the ISO. However, it can deal more damage. 49 for headshots versus 36, 34 for torso shots versus 25 and 30 for limb shots versus 22. This is a very big difference to be honest and the ISO cannot compete with these numbers, not even with this higher rate of fire. Time to kill wise, the MP5 will outperform the ISO with 150 milliseconds for head and torso shots which only require 3 bullets to kill and 225 milliseconds for limb shots which needs 4 bullets to kill. The only way to outperform an MP5 with the ISO is by going for headshots only because then you will beat it with 10 milliseconds. In all other cases, at least at this range, you will lose the fight, at least on paper. Unfortunately for the MP5 it already has a damage drop of point at 9.5 meters. Luckily the headshot time to kill stays the same with 150 milliseconds, but the torso time to kill will go up to 225 milliseconds because you will now need one extra bullet. The same is valid for limb shots and you will now need 300 milliseconds to kill. 
The second damage drop off point occurs at 18 meters, which means that the numbers that you see here will have to be compared to the ISO's initial damage stats, because it only has its first damage drop off point at 16.5 meters. So, from 9.5 meters until 16.5 meters, the ISO will definitely outperform the MP5. I could share all the other stats with you, but I will save those for the comparison video of the ISO versus the MP5. It's more important now to share the moral of the story. The MP5 will sometimes outperform the ISO, and vice versa. It all depends on the range, because they all have different damage drop off points. So in certain situations, depending on the range, one weapon will be better and the other one will be worse. If you decide to use the ISO, and the rest of the servers using MP5s, then you will be able to compete with everybody as long as you keep your distance. You know that you will not have the upper hand in the first 9.5 meters, so do not let anyone get closer than that. I'm still gathering all the stats for all the attachments, and if you subscribe, you'll be the first one to see those in the ultimate weapon guide for the ISO, which will focus on Warzone. It's a very interesting gun, and it definitely has a great potential, but how great that potential is will depend on all the attachments. I will soon start streaming with the ISO and with the AN94. You are more than welcome to join me there so that we can check out these weapons together. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching, and I will see you in Warzone. This is who we are.